Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our NFL Week 13 preview between the New England Patriots and the Houston Texans. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams starting with the Patriots. This week versus the Houston Texans, I believe the New England Patriots can have some success by utilizing their personnel. They have a unique running back in Shane Vereen that can do a lot of damage in the passing game. And I'll show you how they can utilize him to create an illusion to give Tom Brady some options throwing the ball. So what we're going to do, we're going to line Shane Vereen out wide. We're going to split him out as the X in this formation. In the slot of the trips, we're going to put... Rob Gronkowski, because you have to pay attention to him. We're going to put the short guy on the inside, Danny Amendola, giving him options. That's three guys that you have to account for as a defense. And what we're going to do, we're going to sprint him out and try to hit Danny Amendola, Gronkowski, or Shane Vereen in that order. So what we're going to do, sprint out protection. Everyone's turning back. Turn back protection. I'm sorry. Everybody's turning back. Tom Brady's on his own with the running back out there lead blocking. Small sprint out. And where we're going to have Danny Amendola run the quick out. Boom. That's your first read. Second read will be Rob Gronkowski running the quick slant or the skinny post, which is essentially the rub route. And versus man, he's going to create the rub. Versus zone, he's going to pivot out and settle down right here. And we're also going to run Shane Vereen down the sideline on the streak. So what's going to happen? The safety is going to see Shane Vereen think running back and also think, hey, I don't have to play as aggressive versus this streak. I can jump this Rob, I can help out with Rob Gronkowski, or I can try to be the hero and the alley defender and close down on Dan Amendola. You can also see the cornerback saying, okay, I'm gonna close down on the crosser that's coming my way, I'm sorry, the speed out coming my way. And the safety can then say, okay, well, I'll get over top that uh, streak that's going down the sideline, thus leaving Gronkowski one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker and putting a running back that is essentially a receiver that's, to me, the new age Ronnie Harmon on a safety, and that's a win for your offense. So you see where if you can get Dan Amendola, Rob Gronkowski, and Shane Marine on the field at the same time, aligned to the same side in the trips formation, and slightly sprint out Tom Brady, you're gonna give him a quick read and also potential for big play opportunities with Gronkowski and Marine. So I think that's how they can have some success this week versus Houston, by utilizing their personnel, being creative, and also moving the pocket for Tom Brady because we know the Texans can get pressure on the quarterback. The Houston Texans can get pressure on Tom Brady and that Patriots offense if they come weak side. I'm going to show you how they can utilize a gumbo blitz, which is the opposite of a banjo blitz, which means you have the weak side defensive end spying the near back to his side. And let me show you what that means. And what we're going to do, again, forget the formation. We know the Patriots don't align themselves up and split back. This is more for instructional purposes for the defense. So it's pre-snap cover two. So Tom Brady sees two safeties. He's thinking cover two. Post-snap, it's really cover one. So you're going to have the strong safety drop back in the middle of the field playing center field. And we're going to have the corner on the strong side manned up on his wide receiver. And what we're going to do here with the strong side back, drop him back in his coverage here. We're going to also drop the inside backer in his coverage. So you can essentially banjo cover the tight end. As always, I love to talk about banjo because it's important. And you're going to send five technique down, getting pressure. And we're going to have the nose as well. His job is to shoot the strong side A gap. He's slanting across face across the face of the center, slanting inside. Because what we're going to do here, we're going to get creative. We're going to send the backer on the A gap right there, getting A gap pressure. We're going to have the weak side defensive end, like we said, spy the near back if this guy's going this way. It's his responsibility because we're sending the weak side outside linebacker down the B gap. So that's how we're going to get pressure weak side. We have one, uh, the nose tackle is pulling the center, strong side, creating the opportunity for the inside backer, the weak side outside linebacker, and the corner. As the cadence starts to wind down, he's creeping, creeping, and he's coming on the outside. So you have three weak side defenders blitzing, and you also have the free safety now responsible for man coverage on the wide receiver. So that's how they can get pressure weak side and then play combo coverage on the tight end front side and also have one safety deep down the middle of the field playing center field. So if the Texans can get creative and send pressure weak side, I think they have a great opportunity to one, get Tom Brady on the ground or even two, maybe cause a turnover, which would be huge for that Texans offense. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game for New England. Obviously you can't beat yourself. That was an outstanding job last week by the Patriots overcoming early turnovers, but you have to protect the ball better. 
And I would also attack the slot defenders of the Houston Texans, staying with three and four wide receiver sets not only spreads the field, but it loosens up that pressure and widens out that 3-4 defense, and it also allows you to attack the nickel and sometimes the dime defenders in space. And you have to win in the special teams department. The Texans have dangerous return units, and you can't have any lapses in kick or punt coverage. And for the Texans in this ballgame, interior offensive line play is going to be critical. Chris Myers, Wade Smith, company have to win that battle. The Texans can have success running downhill versus New England, but it all starts with that interior offensive line. And Case Keenum has to be decisive when he's throwing the football. Hesitance in your reads will lead to turnovers, especially versus the different looks that the Patriots will throw at you. And J.J. Watt versus the Patriots offensive line will be a key one to watch. Quietly, he has played at the same all-pro level this season, and if he's disruptive early, it can go a long way in helping the Texans win this ballgame. Now, here are some in-game adjustments that you want to watch out for in this ballgame for New England. How they adjust to J.J. Watt. If Watt is starting to be disruptive very early up front, keep a close eye on how the Patriots adjust depending on where he's aligned. You may see him double-team with offensive linemen, influence block on the outside, or even chip with either a tailback or a tight end. And how will they attack that Texans defense with the passing game? Do they go with the condensed route with the bunch formation, or do they keep it open and try to option route the Texans to death? That's something you want to look out for this week. And finally, how will they match up versus Andre Johnson? Will they bracket him or decide that cornerback Akib Tlaib is doing just fine and leave him one-on-one -on, -one on Johnson throughout the course of the ball game? And for the Texans, the biggest thing you want to watch for is how they match up and cover Rob Gronkowski. Either way to decide, the defender has to match physicality at the line of scrimmage and throughout the course of the play. And exploiting Jamie Collins will be another key. He's a rookie, he struggles in space, and you want to exploit that opportunity in the passing game with either combo routes to his side, forcing him to make a decision, and also find ways to isolate him one-on-one. -on -one. And the Texans have to work other receivers in the passing game. It's imperative that Keenan gets these other wide receivers involved early to tilt some of that coverage away from Andre Johnson and balance the field when it's time to throw the ball. The X Factor in this game for the Patriots will be running back Shane Vereen. I believe he's their best tailback and their best playmaker and most consistent. They have to find ways to keep him on the field on all three downs. And the X Factor for the Texans will be safety play that Shiloh Ko and also DJ Swearinger and how well they match up versus the Patriots spread offense and covering the tight ends. If they can excel, the Texans can definitely win this game. I like New England in this ball game. I like what the Patriots are doing on both sides of the ball. I think they're finding ways to win, and it's that type of metal and grit that's going to lead this team far the rest of the season. I think how they can knock off Houston, it will be with their running game. I think they'll line up and run downhill versus this Texas defense, so I think the Patriots go on the road and knock off the Texans. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Patriot fan forums and Texans fan forums for always showing football game plan support.